down yeah. between them. And he was like, he was totally freaked out. Yeah. So, evil. Poison know, ivy is over here. This is a poison ivy vine. Yeah. This this is a poison ivy vine. It grows all the way up the tree. And uh, the base down here, I don't think it's, it's toxic, is it? If you touch the, uh, the vine. Dude, this is the best. Yeah. It is. Dormant. I love this well, stuff. It's still yeah. there. It's still there. Dormant, so Come here, touch me. No, no. It, it's not. You can be crazy. Like we don't have chances to be crazy. Chances of getting poison ivy with just, you know, touching it like that. Yeah, low. Low. So if we walk up that way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Down there is the best soil you were saying yeah. in the whole we're place. St we're, standing all, we're standing on it. This is the best. This is all the topsoil from the whole land all around here that's been washed down for centuries, <laughs> decades. That's the old ice. Right. All that is topsoil. Yeah, so that's like four feet topsoil. Right. right. But we don't want to take it out because it's supporting these trees. Well, Right here, yeah. you don't want to. Right. And one of the good things with the way you're managing the land is it's going to slow down the topsoil loss. Uh -huh. The reason this is down here is because of the bad, bad agriculture. Uh -huh. um, but because this stuff is already collapsed yeah. into the tree, right. then and it's going to be it's going to be lost. Yeah, it, expo it exposed some of the tree's root. And so what kind of tree is that, you know? Right here. That's a, a, mul a mulberry. That's a mulberry tree. How nice. We gotta get some bird netting this year. Well then the other thing to consider is if this topsoil is mine, then it's gonna affect it. Well it might survive. It might survive. And then you have you have other ones in there. Yeah. You know, it's, uh... So we're gonna dam it up there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nope.